Welcome back to today's video. Today's video is a bit of an exciting one. Honey has officially come into season. Oh, good morning. <laughs> and I'm just bandaging up her towel as she is showing signs she wants a baby. I'm just bandaging her towel. Oh, so she's all ready. Right, her towel is all ready to go. This is just so. She can easily lift it up. This makes it easy for you, girlie. We're gonna go one more time today. If she takes, she takes. If she doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. But I thought it's worth the shot. And Malegro is getting loaded up in the trailer to go get gelded tomorrow. So no more freaky time after tomorrow, hun. So she's all bandaged up. I'm just gonna go in and sallow to Malegro because I've just brought him in from the field and he's all settling. Let me wash my hands because I've just touched her towel and he will like that scent. The last day of him being a stallion. Malegro. Hello. So Honey and Malegro done the deed. <laughs> She's such a good girl and really surprising because when she's not in season, when I mean this pony does not like a horse touching her bum, on a hack or anywhere near her backside, she just kicks out. She hates it. And with Malegro and her being in season, she just stands there and she's just so quiet. She's brilliant. So I'm just walking around the big grass field just so she doesn't do a wee for just giving her a walk for a good 20 minutes and it's time for that little baby to work its way up so fingers crossed the last day today no more after this hands and hopefully we have a little baby next year change of subject but a lady that we know we gave our pet goat to she rehomed him and we've just got a call saying that uh, we basically need to pick him up. When Phoebe was little, she was probably about nine or ten, she wanted, um, with her birthday money, she wanted a goat. So we got her a pygmy goat. We put a picture up of her when she was little, when she got it. Anyway, <laughs> we had it on the farm, but the goat, like Milo, kept headbutting everybody that walked through the... the dog um, all the dog walkers, like, who walked through the farm, they'd be like, oh, look at that cute little goat. Bang! <laughs> the goat would have him in the back of the legs. So anyway, Jean, who owns a little country pub, or used to own the little country pub, up where we, we've got the farm, she has goats. So she's like, oh, I'll have the goat. Let me have him here. You know, he could be with my other goat. A couple of years later, Jean's getting older. The goat is headbutting her, and obviously, you know, Jean's family are concerned that it might knock her over. So we are on our way to go and collect our goat, Milo. Um, she's told us not to come on okay. our own, but I'm sure with wrestling foals and calves and all that, we can handle the goat. Well, fingers crossed, hopefully. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, introduce you to Milo, the dangerous goat, in a minute. <laughs> not a long journey, though, is it? It's about four minutes up the road. I can't wait. I love that goat. Ooh! <laughs> Something flew at me. I love that goat and you gave it away without telling me. I didn't give it away. I, I, I rehomed it somewhere better. Nowhere better than the farm, that's why it's returning. <laughs> right, the goat is on board. It wasn't that bad. He was he was good. Yeah, I mean, we tried to wrestle with him and get him off. Well, we already he had a collar on. He was much safer just clipping a rope on him. I think I'm going to get him a new dog collar with our dress on. I don't know if it go far, but we'll have to see. Well, anyone knows, if you try and catch a goat, they're gonna try and bite you anyway. Yeah. It's normal. So, um, he's always done that anyway. It's a lot bigger. Massive. It's yeah. Tiny. His hair's grown a lot. He's like, got coarse hair, isn't he? You might need, can you clip goats? Yeah. You might need a clip. The big reveal. Da, 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 da. It's a bit scruffy. 
darling. <laughs> Hello. Hello. He's all spent. Everybody, it's not very nice weather down the farm. As you can tell, we rushed down this morning just because Jack's been recently clipped and he went out last night, full of my own, without a rug, because I didn't know it was gonna rain. Hi, Hans. So, we've just quickly brought him in. Chucked the Firmatex on your bud, didn't we? The nibs. So, as you all know, we went and picked up my let's say childhood goat yesterday and um i'm just gonna go let him out the stable now we tried to put milo in with the pig like in the pen didn't like that he just jumped out so he's just now a free range goat so i'm just about to go to let him out but i might not let him out until danny goes in because danny's absolutely petrified of him <laughs> Run out the same one trying to chasing him yesterday. We're just getting Melo growing now from the field as he is going to the vets to get gelded today. So fingers crossed it all goes well. Bless him. But yeah, so mum's just parking the trailer as close as she can to the field just so it's not as stressful for him. So we're just gonna go up, put a feed in for him, and then just get him straight onto the trailer. Oh, he's such a good boy. Just go get some Costa out of BP. I don't know what BP is, it's a petrol station. Oh, we're back. Yeah, back. Coffee, supplies, free food chocolate. If you don't have a Tinder or well, I know in a hot chocolate, have it now. <laughs> hey, mate. Oh, he's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Just dropped Melego off into the vets. We're not allowed in there, so we're just unhooking the trailer at the vets and then we're going to shoot Twin Gate Stone because we need to get him a fly rug because once he's been gelded and castrated, he needs to go out in the field because it's better for him to go out. But we obviously don't want the flies to attract him, so we're going to get him a fly sheet so then less flies kind of want to go near him. Are you excited to be back in your favourite place? No, because it costs me too much money. Covers to, and that helps with um, the draining um, yeah. of the blood, um, and also he's got antibiotics. Right, let's go try Malegro's fly rug on. Hello, Milo's. Milo and Dex are coming with me. Don't know what Malegro is going to be like with Milo because I don't think he's ever seen him before. Malegro. Malegro. It's okay. He's a little goat. So I'm just gonna try his new fly rug on. I got it in a size five foot three, just because that's Honey's size. So I wasn't too sure what size he is. You ever had a rug on, Papa? He's a good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Yeah, that's a good fit. He looks very lovely. Hello, girl. So the other day we started clipping Nebo and we just ran out of time. So I was like, you know what, I'll finish it tomorrow. Then tomorrow and I ended up with, oh, I'll finish it tomorrow. So I need to do it. Cause it's all clipped. You just need his legs, like, bits under the armpits and his face. So I thought, 
I need to get it done because otherwise I'll just keep avoiding it. So now Nebo's all clipped. Aren't you, mate? I'm just going to give him a quick hot wash just to get rid of that dirty coat underneath and all this excess hair to come off. So give him a nice clean bath. So just soak in warm water sponges and then I'm going to get washing. Nebo is all washed and bathed, he's just under the solarium. Milo is loving his new haircut. He can itch as much as he likes. Oh yes. <laughs> I've just mucked out the pony barn and Nebo is all fresh and washed. Nice cold bucket of water. Because he is on box rest until Saturday, so not box box rest because there's something wrong with him. It's just because the steroid injection that he had gotten, it's very prone to laminitis. The grass can be very rich in the first five days of being on the steroid. So he is in box rest until then, and he's not only just in the stable. Like he goes in the pen, which has no grass, and I walk him around the farm, but. He's a nice little wash, his feet oiled, living a lovely little life. But yeah, so I've just marked out all the stables and got them all ready for the morning. There's mum, <laughs> eating her ice lolly, she's always got an ice lolly. <laughs> See how Dan's getting on, he was absolutely petrified of the goat. Dan! <laughs> Did you not like the goat? But if you want to see more content of like more insight of everyday life with the ponies and the goat now Milo, definitely follow my Instagram, which is Fifi underscore Welsh underscore ponies because I like to post on there regularly and be up to date with reels. So yeah, go give that a follow. Um, just need to go help with the cattle because the cattle are coming in and they need help with kind of like staying in standing in an area that they're not allowed so they kind of just follow the lead follow the one in front and they don't one don't get lost so we just kind of need to block off an entrance somewhere i also need to find the goat because he was by our side a lot and then now he's like trying to venture out and i'm like oh don't go too far so i need to find the goat he had a shave yesterday which to be honest, I was going to say he wasn't too happy about it, but he was. Like, he literally stood there like a little dog. So he feels so much better with no hair on. Where is the goat? Unless they put him away while the cows come in, but I'm sure he was just out. Hello. Okay. I found Milo. He's having a little sleep. One like his little clip. You've made yourself all red where you've itched yourself. Let's go get the cows. 